I will say this, this is my first time ever owning and driving a five-speed manual 7.3 power stroke and uh, it is a lot of fun. It's very different than an NV4500. Doesn't have the same feel at all in terms of the stick and the shifter and the shift points. It just, it feels more refined, like a tighter shift pattern as well. It just feels a lot different. Um, maybe that's just me, but maybe that's just me making a false observation, I don't know. But in my opinion, that's the way it feels to me coming from a lot of second gen five speed trucks. And uh, this thing drives nice and straight. I mean, it doesn't like wander all over the road. It's actually, it's actually pretty impressive been hiding this one from you for a little bit now but I'm gonna show it to you guys today and I think you guys are gonna be really really blown away by this thing Everybody, here it is I'm gonna give you guys a full tour of this thing let you guys check it all out it's been a little bit of a secret here not gonna lie but this thing is freaking beautiful timing is everything especially when you're in the industry and business that I am and so we had to keep this one on the down low until the last minute because we didn't want the reveal to be anything but exciting and uh, this thing hits all the notes on what we were looking for. But before we get further into this video, guys, right now is the one and the only time you will ever have the opportunity to enter to a nasty red and this truck at the exact same time. Any orders placed between June 21st and June 25th will get entered into both giveaways at the exact same time. They are two separate giveaways, two separate drawings, possibly two separate winners, or somebody could get drawn twice and actually win both of these trucks that could happen it almost did happen actually one time already this is just the perfect duo we got a 96 compound turbo 12 off cummins built auto new wheels tires paint that is fully custom code to this truck specifically i mean new mirrors new tent new a whole bunch of new stuff and then you got a beautiful 1997 F-250 7.3 power stroke four-wheel drive truck with a five-speed manual transmission and I got to tell you this is almost more fun actually it might be more fun to drive than a five-speed 12 valve and anybody that knows me knows I am super biased to the five-speed trucks that have come from Dodge but this thing is a freaking blast drive so that being said though anybody that's winning dual entries which is the best of the best it is as good as it gets the cream of the crop it is the best opportunity to enter to win a truck here at lmpgear.com or on our app you could literally buy a hat like this a shirt like this anything you like on the site and get instantly entered into both truck giveaways at the exact same time but it's only for orders that are placed between june 21st and june 25th any orders placed during the rest of this giveaway are still completely entered in for this truck. But if you want to get entered for this truck and this one at the same time, just to double your odds, that is only from June 21st to June 25th. I'm repeating that multiple times just to make sure you guys do not miss out on the opportunity because it is such a small time window where dual entry happens it is a very 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 small window and that is the only opportunity for it and then it is gone after the 25th so get in while you can if you want to enter to win both of these trucks at the same time because the duo can't get much better than this and the opportunity can't get much better either it's our highest multiplier 30 times entries are live 
So for example, if you were to spend money on the site and let's say you get 5,000 entries into the giveaway for this truck, right now you're getting 5,000 for this one and you're gonna get that 5,000 entries into this one. That is an example just to kind of paint a little bit of a picture of how crazy the deal is. It's basically like you would be getting 60 times entries because you're getting 30 into both instead of one or the other. So take advantage of it while you can at lmpgear.com or hit the link in the description below. So guys, this truck is actually a super hard to find pickup. And we're gonna go through some of the things on this truck, actually as much as I can on this truck, as much as I know and understand about it. The thing is super clean, came out of Southern Ohio, is actually where the guy I bought it off of from. I don't know where it spent the majority of its life, and I didn't ask him how many years he owned it, I probably should have, but the truck was just super clean. Came out of Southern Ohio, it was almost like by West Virginia, Kentucky, like in, in that same area, real close to the Ohio line down there. Uh, the paint color is almost identical. It's original, but it's almost identical to the Nasty Red's new Delmonica red paint job. Thank you, thank you. Again, I'll give the plane a moment to pass here and then I'll pick up. I have never been able to find a clean manual OBS Ford. This is the first one we have ever had. So when you see the title of this, it's the first one. We've never bought this truck before. We literally have not. We've had a regular cab OBS before, just one time we've done a regular cab and you guys freaking loved it. It was the white one on the forces, 24 by 14s. It was sick, but you know, this is an extreme opposite of that. It's old school wheel and tire setup in style in its best fashion for this pickup, honestly. And not only that, that truck was an automatic. This one here is a manual transmission with four wheel drive. Just a gorgeous pickup truck, um, super clean. Paint is like dang near perfect. There's only a couple small blemishes on the whole truck and they're very, very minor. But other than that, the thing is beautiful. Um, like I said, we're running the old school style setup here. Diamond plate trim plates along the side. He does actually have, when I say he, I mean the previous owner, does actually have like those stick on um, foam strips that you stick underneath. They're really, really thin adhesive strips that keep that from rattling and scraping the paint off the truck. And then it's got the diamond plate toolbox. The bed has everything for a fifth wheel hitch. Uh, but it is no longer in the truck, but the bed is so stinking nice. It's not all beat to crap. You know, some of those beds are, they're just like, you can tell they were worked their entire life. Here's one of those little paint blemishes, like I was saying, just a little tiny clear coat peel. Such a pretty truck. Very, very clean. And look how shiny that paint is. It's so, so pretty. Hop it on in the interior, guys. You got the dual fuel tank set up. It's an XLT model, which at the time was a was a decent trim level in truck here. So you got the tent all around with the brow up front. The dash is legitimately flawless. It's in perfect condition. It's not all peeling and folding and all kinds of weird stuff that they can do when they sit out too much. Door panels are in phenomenal condition. Beautiful, the carpet. The worst dirt on the carpet is right here and that's for me getting in to move it over here. Other than that, the carpet is literally flawless too. The shifting boot, the shifter boot, you know, it looks perfect. Same with this. The stick is not all wore out. It's not all, you know, how sometimes all the numbers are all gone. Uh, the truck's got 160,000 miles on it. So it's really not a high mileage truck either, 160. For comparison, just to give you a little bit of insight, my dad's got a 2013 King Ranch he bought brand new and his truck's already got almost, not quite, but almost this much mileage on it and it's a 13. This is a 1997. So relatively speaking, that is low mileage for these trucks because this is a 30 year old pickup truck. And if you're good with simple math, that's like 5,300 miles a year. Like I said, relatively low mileage on the truck, runs like new, drives like new, Everything in here works. AC is perfectly cold. It is an aftermarket radio, which is nice though, because it's got Bluetooth, auxiliary, USB plug-in, stuff like that. But other than that, the interior was not touched, other than that, which is ideal. Um, it does have the cruise, the acceleration, to sell buttons, it all works. Um, coast works, I mean, everything interior works, speakers work, it's perfect. It's literally like, it's like the unicorn of these five-speed regular cab OBS 7.3s. I mean, they're just so, so, so hard to find. And I say that in a sense of like, they're just hard to find this nice. Like original and just not absolutely beat to snot. Um, the seat is dang near perfect. It's just got one little 
almost tear right there. Um, just a little tiny spot. But other than that, this thing is literally gorgeous, guys. It is so, so nice. And this thing under hood is still very, very clean. It's got the original air box in it. It's got the original, you know, plastic on there. I mean, it, it really is clean. It could use a little bit of a dusting and a degreasing, but the thing looks great, runs great. It's not super gunked up and nasty. It's just really hard to find them, even this clean. And if you took a little, little bit of a microfiber towel and some degreaser and you wipe this thing down, you can see all the dust just comes off real easy because it is not really bad at all. And then you've got, I mean, even the master cylinder and everything. Um, it's just, it's just a clean truck. It's just a very, very clean truck. And for what's out there on the market, they don't get a lot better than this. Let's do a slow walk around of this thing so you guys can get a full 360 degree view. You don't want to miss any angles of this thing because this thing is freaking nice. There's a side shot there. I wish I had a cameraman here right now. I could take you guys for a drive. We can start it up. Can't really go down the road though. That helped the film. I mean, this thing is just so stinking nice. There's just not a ton to say. I mean, I could just go on and on and on and just brag about how clean it is and stuff and try to convince you guys, but there's not really a whole lot of convincing to do. I mean, the truck is just really, really nice. Um, that's, I mean, that's just all there is to say about it. You know what I mean? Just one of those, it's just one of those vehicles. I'm gonna start it up here so you guys can see it running. And the shifter is beautiful. It's like perfectly smooth and firm the way it's supposed to be. I mean, through all the gears. I mean, it is just, it's so, I mean, it's just very tight and very, very clean. Got a nice little cup holder set up there. AC works perfectly. Got your outlets. It is running a Hydra tuner. And it sits in here actually perfectly. The way that that's set up, it's, it's really nice. You got another 12 volt outlet there. AC blows super cold, heat blows super hot. I mean, all that stuff works perfect. The trim pieces in the cab, they're not cracked and busted up. They're very nice. Actually, there's zero cracks anywhere, except for right here. A little teeny tiny crack. And I'm just trying to be as transparent as possible with you guys so you guys can get a full view of everything in here. Steering wheel's not all ripped up. Steering wheel's in great shape. I mean, it's it's perfect. Brake controller is brand new. It's a brand new Kurt. Wiring's brand new from the controller back. Let's go sit up behind this thing and let you hear it idle.
I mean, there it is, guys. There's not, there, like I said, it's just one of those trucks where there's just not a whole lot to try to hype up about it and try to convince you it's nice. It's just, it's just a super nice, super good running, everything working OBS 7.3 with a five-speed manual and four-wheel drive. They don't come much better than this. I mean, I know, yeah, you can go buy one for 50 grand from certain places where they're literally like brand new off the showroom floor, but in terms of just going out and finding one, going through hundreds of listings, looking through all of the good and all the bad ones to find this, this is a very, very hard to find truck. And I think anybody that knows these things and knows how hard it is, totally understands. I mean, it's about as nice as they can get. If you wanna get entered for both at the same time, this is your only window of opportunity, which is today, June 21st, through June 25th. So it's like a five day total entry time where you can get in for both trucks. If you don't enter during that window of opportunity, you cannot get dual entries into both giveaways for the orders that are placed. Again, any orders placed before June 21st during the dates for this truck are still completely into that truck. That doesn't change. You're not like disqualified out of this giveaway if you don't order between these dates. These dates are just for people that want to get dual entries. They want to double their odds, double their chances and entries into both giveaways at the same time. This is the window of opportunity to make that happen. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for all the love and all the support from over the years. You guys are awesome. Here we go again. Every four weeks, there's another truck in the picture and then off to somebody else to own and enjoy for as long as they choose to do so. Guys, hit that link in the description or go to lnpgear.com. Download our app, shop on our website, whichever makes you feel more comfortable, whichever you'd rather do and get those orders in because somebody's got to take these trucks home. That could be you or you and your buddy or you and your dad or you and a sibling or who knows what. Get in, make it a joint, make it a conjoint effort. Get some buddies together, get in on these things. Who knows, we could, we could see you and your buddy here to pick up a truck. Hit that link, get in there today. Somebody's gotta take it home, could be you. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.